Well, all of us have a basic understanding of what truth is. Uh, we, we understand the truth has to do with honesty. It has to do with the basic uh, conception or, or assessment of, of, of true facts. Uh, however, for many people, it's hard to wrap our heads around the fact that, that there is one objective truth that, that, that is overarching, that, that encapsulates all what, what true reality should be. For many people, truth is relative. Uh, uh, we, we, we do not like to think of there being one truth that is out there that, that shapes the, the meta-narrative of what the, the world is and, and how we ought to live our lives. Uh, for many people, your truth cannot be my truth. Uh, and truth becomes a, se a subjective thing where, where, where I can only uh, come to an understanding of truth based on what I feel, uh, what I taste, what I hear, and what I see. However, the Christian faith tells us different. It tells us that, that there is uh, one objective truth. And that objective truth starts with the fact of the existence of God, that there is a God who truly exists. And, and secondly, that, that God not only, not only exists, but that, that God who exists has spoken and, and is speaking and has spoken through his word, what we consider the Christian scriptures. And, and the scriptures for Christians shape what we consider uh, reality. It shapes for us uh, what we consider to be truth in relation to, to life and how it's supposed to be lived. But not only that, not only do we believe in a God who exists and a God who has spoken, but we also believe in a God who, has, uh, who embodies the truth that we speak about. So truth is not only a concept that is out there, but truth is, is a person, and, and that person is the Lord Jesus Christ. In the scriptures we are told that uh, Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. Uh, so he embodies what truth is for us. And as we encounter uh, the reality of God's spoken word through the scriptures, uh, we also encounter the Lord Jesus Christ, who is a person. And that shapes our reality, it shapes who we are, it shapes uh, what we think and how we ought to live our lives. And, and that's what the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us. It teaches us that as we encounter him, we, counter, we, we come to grips with who we, we truly are. But not only that, but we come to grips with who he wants to make us uh, to be and how he wants to shape our lives and how he wants to build us. Uh, but also we come to grips with the fact that he wants to take us somewhere. He wants uh, to build a, a perfect future for us. Uh, a future where there is no falsehood. A future where only truth exists. And that's what the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ promises us. Uh, therefore, as we, as, as we speak about truth, we cannot separate it from the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, therefore, if you want to come into grips with what truth is, you need to encounter the Lord Jesus Christ.